wearing a Bowsette shirt. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. So he's going so for Rosa. Like he's opting for Rosa game one. Okay. So and uh, we'll see how this Wolf. plays out. Wolf. Um, could I could understand that because you know Wolf has lots of tools to stuff out Ike when he wants to. Fall yeah, on. I feel I feel like Wolf can get a really solid rush down on Ike, which is. It was a. Oh, Luna died That's already. on shield there, but he did get rid of Luma, which is the most important end goal of playing against Rosa. Yeah, you don't see a lot of Rosa players. All right. Well, in general, Rosa got buffed, Luma got nerfed. Yeah, all right. That was a good lunar landing F smash there, but he knows to shield it. Very good on Keo Frost's part. And it looks like he has Keo Frost in disadvantage now. He's going to get him off stage. Oh, try to stop yeah, smash the landing. Smash. Air dodge just passed it, though. Good right. platform pressure yeah. coming out from Karanol. Yeah, That's something, kinda... something I always like to see from him. He's really good at covering options on the platforms, especially with a character like Rosa, who yeah, loves Rosa. to cover options. Or Ike, you know. Or Ike, yeah, with that giant oh, narrative. Yeah. He's going to be able gonna, to recover. He's fortunate that's D there. Karanol just kind of going to dance around there. Good nair there. Tries to get the pivot grab, I think. Doesn't He's quite come to, out fast enough. Kind of charging F smashes. I'm not. He, he seems a little. I, I have a feeling he's not really like oh, accustomed to this matchup. Almost gets a really good combo there with um general Luma shenanigans, but Wolf falls up. Colonel yeah. kind of smash ultimate. Press up smash the landing there. I respect what he was going for because Rosa kind of has a bad disadvantage and doesn't have that yeah, many options. Like, yeah, to land Ro Rosa's to movement options Luma. are pretty limited, to my knowledge. He's gonna grab the landing there. Oh, gets the fair off stage yeah. there. It's a little nutty. Alright. See of, if Kyo can get the stock at least. It's one of Rosa's best edge guarding tools, and it's very good at just wiping away stocks with how big it is. Oh, he's out here charging smash attacks. The ledge, I'm not sure. What he's going for? Is he gonna get this edge guard? Nah. I think he expected Kyo to go off stage to go for a deep edge guard, so that was smart on Karanel's part, but it wasn't the right decision. But he will be making it back safely. Right. And we got Wolf kind of being almost camped out by all these longer range moves. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be right, stock. the side B there. Yeah. A little too um too little too late there. Yeah, though, a little too late. Karanel's um Karanel's got a pretty convincing oh, lead right now. And he, and side yeah. B's. You know, the, the move that, that almost... Oh, yeah. Um, but, uh... <laughs> so, Karanel takes game one with Rosalina and Luma. You know, always known for his very solid Rosa gameplay. Also known for being a very big fan of Rosa. Uh, I wonder why. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's wearing yeah. Bowser's shirt. Yeah. yeah. You, you can make the connection. Yeah. Alright, let's but, see uh, how they're gonna counterpick out. Sure, let's see. Gonna go FD. FD. All right. FD. Respectable. Yeah, since Karanel seems to be so good at covering those platforms and the options, so, maybe. Yeah, and FD is like notoriously not a very good stage for Rosa because he's all about the advanced stage, especially yeah. in this game. Luma, Luma can't really cover that many options by just doing absolutely nothing anymore. So she kind of, she kind of needs those platforms for her pressure. Yeah, it gives her a lot more room because I feel like her movements all her movements kind of. Yeah, she's Probably. very yeah, slow. She's on pretty the ground. slow. She's very floaty. Yeah. Or she's not that slow. She just doesn't. I mean, yeah, it's just. She's not very agile. Yeah, she she's has a big floaty. Box. Yeah, that's how she is. Like. All right, so we're gonna see how Mennonite's gonna be able to counter her. Um, Colonel whipping a lot of dash attacks there. Known for his um his reaction time, he actually apparently, according to him, he pioneered one of Rose's like prediction-based ledge trapping methods because his reaction time wasn't good enough to just react. But uh, anyways. All right, so I guess that dimensional cape. All right, get a fair. Let's see what he does. Oh, gets he's the, really get a fair there. All right, tries to solid dash grab out of shield. Okay. Gonna get him in disadvantage now. But Meta Knight, known for being pretty good in disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, having those jumps, and Rose is at prime percent for a. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not sure if it's prime percent. I don't know that much about Meta Knight. You know, maybe Arconi could get on here and yeah. tell you more about that. But yeah. Oh, goes for the up smash there. 
Okay, yeah, and since, yeah, he feels, it seems like he's having a better time getting out of disadvantage against Rosa. Might tonight. be getting nervous because of the, the Meta Knight Rosa flashbacks from Smash 4. You know, that was a terrible matchup for Rosa. One yeah. of the only losing matchups. Um, yeah. Let's see really if struggling Frost... to get these edge guards. Oh, oh. Kia Frost can take this first stop. Oh. That's gonna be, yeah. It's gonna be a bit of good momentum for Paranol there, but. Fire yeah. Knight does have tools like forward smash to catch landings and to, in general, cover options, especially since Karnal doesn't have Luma. Yeah, we get the cross right up now. to F smash. He's gonna get Luma back just in time to get him in disadvantage. Right, yeah, now he's. Oh. Right, Meta Knight's got pretty quick attacks, so. Yeah. Meta Knight's known for his good frame data. Alright, is that gonna kill? Oh, uh, it does. There we go. You know, sometimes like, I get confused because like, yeah, it makes so sense you, that way. Yeah, you like, think tumbling. they're gonna come down and you're like, wait. Are they? Well, they, they start they start doing the star KO animation, and you think they're just like tumbling down, but then they start yeah. getting smaller. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, oh. All right. Now, Meta Knight known for the cheese, especially against floaties like Rosa, who, who can die early and just get comboed really solidly by those up airs. So we'll see if Keo Frost, especially with this Rage Online, let's see if he can uh, yeah. Rosa up air. I feel Meta Knight was a good counter pick because I feel like he's he's. Feeling like he has like more like at least momentum than the last game. So he gets 27% there off that jab. Looking like Inkling here. Um, so he's gonna go for a jab Another again. Jab. Oh very my. solid That's... tech chase option, especially because he can set up. Oh, that oh, was yeah. very dirty. Right. Oh, oh. Yep. we got. Elpy's popping off for Karen oh right there. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, there. Disconnecting. Very solid play from Karen right there.